Assalamu alaikum. Today we will talk about the octet rule, the first theory that explains the nature of the covalent bond formed between atoms. So this theory was introduced by Lewis and Kozel in 1916, and it states that, with the exception of hydrogen, Lithium and beryllium, all the atoms in the covalent bond tend to reach the octet structure. The prefix oct refers to the number 8, so here they mean that. Well, the atomic structure of hydrogen, or the atomic number of hydrogen is 1, lithium is 3, beryllium is 4, so in a covalent bond they will not reach 8 electrons, when they gain or lose electrons. All the other elements, they say, that in the covalent bond they reach the octet structure, and they mean that they contain 8 electrons in the outermost energy level when they share electrons with the other atoms. Examples for that is water, where the oxygen atom here shares two electrons with two hydrogen atoms. So when we count the number of electrons in the outermost energy level of oxygen, we'll find that it's 8. There is also ammonia molecule and chlorine molecule. Now, this rule doesn't explain the covalent bond in all compounds. Now, this rule has some inadequacies because not all the atoms in the covalent bonds tend to reach the octet structure. Uh, for example, Boron trifluoride In boron trifluoride the boron atom only contains six electrons in the outermost energy level because fluorine shares an electron and boron shares another electron so, fluorine here shares three electrons, one by each atom, and boron shares three electrons. The total is six electrons, not eight. Also, in phosphorus pentachloride, There are 10 electrons in the outermost energy level of phosphorus. So, phosphorus shares 5 electrons, and each chlorine molecule shares an electron. So, the total number of the electrons in the outermost energy level of phosphorus will be 10 and not 8. This is the first failure. The second one is that this rule actually doesn't explain the real nature of the covalent bond because the covalent bond is not just sharing electrons. It doesn't explain the stereo structure of the uh, molecule. The stereostructure means the 3D structure, and it doesn't tell the angles between the bonds, the covalent bonds between atoms. So, these are the two inadequacies of the octet rule. So, another theory came out, which is the valence bonding theory, and that's what we'll talk about in the next time. Until then, thank you for watching, and see you.